Happy Halloween, motherfucker! <laughs> I thought you said you were gonna get dressed up this year. I did dress up. Ask me what I'm dressed as. What are you dressed as? A pussy monster! <laughs> oh, shit. <coughs> Amy, I didn't know you were... I thought you, you left. <coughs> I'm sorry. There is something seriously wrong with you. What? I mean, that's why bestiality exists, you know? Grown women, sexy, like your wife, are dressed up like fucking cats. And now when, I'm, when I see a cat, I'm not supposed to want to fuck it? Bro, that's my wife. I'm just saying, man. It's human nature, okay? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta listen to your body, Davey, you know? Listen to those urges. All right, enough. All right, fine. Fine. What's new? Nothing, just working. You? Same, same. <laughs> we used to fucking terrorize this town on Halloween. <laughs> I wouldn't say we terrorize this town. Oh, really? Do you, I mean, do you not remember hanging out of your cousin's Jeep, dumping trash on people's yards? <laughs> you remember that old guy fucking came out and chased us that one night? <laughs> we got stopped at that stoplight. I have, I have a trash can, just, just, I'm getting ready to dump it, and this old guy comes running out, he's like, hey, what are you kids doing with that trash can? I looked him dead in the eye, and I was like, this? <laughs> and I fucking dumped his trash <laughs> out. <laughs> And your cousin, your cousin still stayed at the stoplight. I, I, dude. I thought you were gonna piss your pants. Yeah, I was fucking terrified, man. I was yelling at him to punch it. I kind of feel bad that we did all that stuff when we were young. Oh, you didn't that night. As a matter of fact, I think your exact words were, fuck you, Mr. Tomlin. <laughs> hey, in, in my defense, he gave me a C plus on a pretty good Macbeth report. Wow, Macbeth. Holy shit, homie. That is a... <laughs> that's a blast from the past, man. Oh, man. Life used to be so much better when we were young. I don't know. I really don't mind getting old. I just feel like we had a good time when we were young. But it's... Life's different now. Really? Life isn't about staying young, you know? It's about finding new ways to adapt to the changes that come with getting older. You know, like starting a family or settling down. Oh. What? I'm serious, man. Like, here's an example. Like, when you're in your 20s and you had to go to a party but you really didn't want to, you still went because everybody was going. Now, I just say fuck it and I stay home. I don't go anywhere I don't want to go. I don't do anything I don't want to do. Yeah, but you, you barely do anything at all. I know, it's the best. <laughs> okay. All right, so you don't miss being young. We're still young, Adam. Remember how the old oven fan used to rattle all the time? Uh-huh. Well, feast your ears on this. I don't hear anything. Exactly. <laughs> Holy shit. Right? Wait, there's more. You have a fucking remote control for your oven fan? Oh, you know it. This is amazing. <sighs> wow, dude. Right? Who rigged that up for you? Because I, I know you didn't do it. I know you didn't do it. Because I had, to, <laughs> I had to show you how to use Netflix on your Xbox. That was like three years ago. Oh, really? What's your password? It's, uh... Easy writer eh, for It's Rodeo Clown 1908. I changed it. You changed my password? Mm hmm. Why? Uh, long story short, I was on this Tinder date with this girl and I was trying to impress her, so I, I let her make her own profile. You gave some girl my profile information that you met on a dating app? Yeah, she was 22. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. So who put this thing in for you? Oh, Chad Ryman. Chad, who's Chad? From high school. The dude was like eight feet tall. He was a monster. He played like every sport. Oh, God. 
God, Chad the dad? Chad the dad? <laughs> yeah. He was so much bigger than all the other kids. We used to say that he looked like somebody's dad. <laughs> Didn't he kick the shit out of you for that? Chad? Yeah. No. No. No, I mean, we fought, but I was fine. You sure about that? Bro, I can fight, okay? <laughs> I own four Tybo DVDs, mm -hmm. all right, homie? Your boy knows how to fight. If I saw Chad the dad today, I would straight fuck his world up, dude. I would fucking hit him right in his fucking mouth, and I'd stand over top of him, and I'd be like, Chad the dad, Chad the dad, Chad the dad, Chad the What the fuck was that, man? Yeah, you better run, man. Fuck. What? What happened? They smashed our pumpkins, man. What? Oh, fuck, man. It's your baby's first Halloween. Well, she didn't carve them. No, it's still fucked up, man. Somebody's got to pay for this. What do you want to do? Beat up a bunch of teenagers? No, of course I don't want to beat up teenagers. But we could scare them. No. 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 We're not doing that. We're gonna get a broom, go watch a scary movie, maybe order a pizza. We're not gonna go out on Halloween night and scare a bunch of teenagers. Absolutely not. Yes, man, we're fucking doing it! <laughs> we're gonna scare the fuck out of these kids, man. This is just like the Halloweens we used to have. As long as we're back by 11, okay? I can't have Amy find out that we're out chasing down teenagers on Halloween night. Okay, we're not gonna beat anybody up, all right? I'm not a fucking complete animal. Oh my god, look at her. <laughs> fucking creep. Will you fucking cut it out, man? What, man? Women love that. I don't think they do. Okay, you don't know. You're married. The whole dating scene has changed. Uh, to barking at strangers? Yeah, kind of. Okay. It lets them know that I'm in charge. Uh, no, it lets him know that you're a sexist piece of shit. Oh, it lets him know that I'm a whipped little bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm whipped because uh, I respect women? Uh, First of all, I'm not whipped. I'm married. There's a difference. Bro, everybody knows that Amy wears the fucking pants in your relationship. Oh, uh, Amy runs the... First of all, who's everybody? You ever plug her nose when she's blowing you? Excuse me? What kind of question is that? Do you ever plug Amy's nose while she's blowing you. What the fuck? N no. Women love it, man. Dude, you need to start thinking about the types of girls that you're hanging out with. Maybe raise your standards a little bit and quit giving them my fucking Netflix password. Sometimes I plug their nose and then I take my cock out and I just slap them in the face with a few times. What the fuck is wrong with you? They love it, man. They asked me for that. They they ask me for that. I don't, I don't just do that. They ask me for that. You should try it. I'm not gonna try it, okay? I'm not gonna take my penis out and slap it against my wife's face. I'm just trying to get you to live your best life, man. I am living my best life. You were there earlier. Did you see the new oven fan? It's badass. <laughs> what the hell is that? What? That! Is that what I think it is? Depends. Do you think it's a fat ass blunt? Cause <laughs> that's what the fuck it is. Dude, put that thing away, man. We're not smoking that. We're going home. No, come on, man. What the fuck? We're smoking this, dude. Bro, I'm in my 30s. I'm driving a car. I'm not gonna smoke a fucking joint. Okay, what happened to you, dude? You used to do this shit all the time. I. What happened to me? I grew up, Adam, all right? I grew up. I got a wife. I, I got a fucking daughter. I'm somebody's father now. It's just one little hit. It's not gonna kill you. Plus it's Halloween, we're out here fucking chasing down some punk ass kids. Smoke a joint with me. Like the old days. <sighs> fucking fuck it, fine, fire it up. Yes! That's my boy. That's my motherfucking boy. Oh. Mm. Oh God. Um, oh, I feel bad. No, no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even meat. It's horse. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I'll be fine. Yeah. <sighs>
Uh, what? Fuck, dude. I think I think we should call it a night, man. It's it's almost eleven o'clock. We haven't seen any of these kids anywhere. Yeah, you're right. We're never gonna catch these kids. Plus, if it was us back in the day, we'd be two towns over, you know. <laughs> I'd be hanging out this window just egging people. You'd be hanging out that window with a baseball bat, just slamming mailboxes like Sammy fucking Sosa. <laughs> Bro, you make it sound like we were fucking punk rockers back in the day. We were. And then, you know, we got old. Oh, I'm so, excuse me, then one of us grew up. Sorry. Adam, I didn't, I didn't mean it like no, that, no, dude. No, I get it. No, I need to grow up. No, I fucking heard you, dude. I'm out here running the streets like a wild dog, barking at strangers, plugging girls' nose, and they fucking blow me. I get it, dude. We're not young anymore. Honestly, man, I'm I'm just jealous of you. I mean, you're just you're out there, you're fucking doing it, man. Like, y you take chances I never took. You're just living your life and, and and you're just throwing caution to the wind. And I I don't have that option anymore, man. Banging chicks that are in their fucking twenties and you're smoking weed and you just you get to be your own man. And I just I don't know, man. You take chances that I never could. You know, like the earlier when you're talking about punching Chad Ryman in the face. Dude, we haven't seen in like 15 years. Like, that's badass shit, dude. Like, I, I just want something exciting to happen. I'm just going through the motions and, you know, it's like we, we get together once a year and it's like the only time I feel alive. And I fight you the whole time. Like, the whole night I've been fighting you. Instead of just letting go and just having a good time, man. I don't, I don't know, man. I just, I just wish I had something in my life, like anything to get me that charged up. Truth be told, I, I wish, kind of wish I were you, man. Okay, that's that's fucking dumb, dude. That's like Peter Pan being jealous of the Lost Boys. You have everything. You got you have you have a fucking job, a house, a, a fucking baby for Christ's sake, man. I mean that stuff takes a lot of hard work, dude. I should know, man, because I was never strong enough to do those things. You shouldn't have to punch Chad Ryman to feel alive. You should look in your daughter's eyes, man. You feel it then. If you weren't such a piece of shit, that would have been a really nice thing you just said. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Hey, check it out. Oh shit. Just a couple of fucking pumpkins just sitting there. <laughs> What the fuck is going on out here? 
Chad Ryman. Yeah. Dave? What you doing here? Something wrong with your other fan? Oh, God. Here, here's a fresh bag. Oh, thanks, man. You should probably head home. Yeah. I gotta get my bat. What? Yeah. I told Amy, though, I'll clean up the pumpkins tomorrow. You remember where Chad's house is at, right? <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby! The Home Run King is back! Woo!